Hey, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. I'm Corey. This is Offbeat Motors. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the auto stop start feature on the 2018-2023 Jeep Wranglers and the uh, Jeep Gladiators. Okay, so in a lot of the Facebook groups and online forums and stuff like that, I see a lot of people complaining about the auto stop start features on these vehicles. Um, it's not particularly just this vehicle. People don't like it in a lot of vehicles, um, but particularly with the Jeeps, um, they don't like it because they think it's an annoyance. Um, they don't really think it really does anything. Um, and some people say it just kills the secondary battery. And if you're not familiar with the secondary battery, these Jeeps do have two batteries. They have the main battery and then they have a lithium battery. The uh, lithium battery is pretty expensive and it's a pain in the butt to change when it goes bad. Um, and some people are theorizing that the auto stop start kills that thing faster than it should. Today's video is basically going to be talking about a few ways you can defeat the auto stop start. Some of it's free, some of it you have to pay for, and one of them is just plain old ignorant. And I don't recommend it, but let's go ahead and get into it right now. So the first thing uh, you can do to turn it off is it's free. Uh, most people already know about it. And um, with these Jeeps, there's a button on the dash that you can just simply push. Um, right here's the button. You hit that and it'll turn it off. It doesn't do anything right now because the vehicle's not turned on. So if the vehicle is turned on and running, you hit that. When you come to a stop, the auto stop start will not activate. It just continuously runs. Um, the drawback with that is you have to do it every single time you start the vehicle and it's not a memory type of setting where you can just turn it off and it's always off. It's good for that duration of that drive cycle and as soon as you shut the vehicle off and you turn the vehicle back on, it reverts to the auto stop start being back activated. So you then have to go ahead and press the button. But it's a free feature. It's not really that big of a deal. You just reach right over and hit it. Um, sometimes I forget to. Sometimes I don't. Uh, sometimes I'm driving along and my wife will just reach over and do it. So it's free. So let's move on to the next thing. And for that, we're going to have to get out of the vehicle and go to the front. Okay, so at the front of the vehicle, first thing you got to do is lift up the hood. I got the shocks on mine, so did a video on that if you're interested in the shocks right here pretty easy install uh, but what we're looking for is right here on the driver's side all the way to the front next to the radiator you're going to see these two sensors these are hood sensors um, the one we're looking for is this one right here and there's two things you could do number one you can just take this thing out of the bracket and just lean it off to the side tie it up somewhere out of the way um, you just want to make sure that the plunger is not pushed down so when it's out it means the hood is open in hood is closed so you can take it out of the bracket or the second thing you can do is just reach down here and unplug it and what that'll do is it will deactivate the stop start on these jeeps that is like i said it's free but the drawback with that is you're going to have to deal with lights on in the cluster um, if you're like me i can't stand lights on in the cluster so i don't do that because it drives me nuts when i have warning lights on but if it doesn't bother you, you can turn it off that way and just deal with the lights in the cluster and it's free. So the third thing you can do is also free up front. Could cost you quite a bit of money in the long run, but it is free up front. And this is by no means the one I recommend that nobody does. Um, but I understand people do this because it's been brought up quite a bit. I don't agree with it but people do it so the seat belt if you do not wear your seat belt for some reason the auto stop start is tied into the seat belt system and it will recognize that it is not buckled and it will not activate so if you never wear your seat belt you never have auto stop start um, i haven't tested to see if that theory is actually correct but from what i understand is it works well doesn't work I don't recommend it because you're putting your life at risk if you were to ever get into an accident or possibly getting a ticket if you get pulled over for not for driving without a seatbelt but uh, that's totally up to you if that's what you want to do do it I don't recommend it 
Okay, so now we're gonna move into the options that you have that you actually have to pay for. So a lot of people are familiar with the Z Automotive um, Taser and the Taser Minis and stuff like that. It's very popular with uh, Mopar models. Um, I learned about it when I had my Challenger and they also have one for the Jeep uh, Wranglers and Gladiators. And it was $219 when I looked it up. Um, I don't have one. Um, it's 219 bucks if you're interested in it. I'll leave a link to everything down in the uh, description so you can look it up yourself. And it's a simple plug and play. You just plug it into the vehicle. It marries it to this vehicle. And um, you can do all sorts of different things. It's not just for the auto stop start, although that is one of the features you can permanently turn off. Um, well, it doesn't really turn it off. It puts it into a memory mode to where it recognizes what the last cycle was. So if you turn it off while you're driving, the next time you go to drive your vehicle, it'll be off automatically. If you had it on the last time you drove, it'll be on the next time you drive it. So it just remembers it. But with that, you also unlock a bunch of different things you can do with your vehicle. Um, they have options, like if you're gonna add, like I don't have the front camera, because I don't have a, um, I think that comes on the, the Rubicons and stuff like that. But I could buy the front camera from them, and that allows you to go into the coding of the vehicle and turn that option on so I could get it into my uh, infotainment system. So that's, that's another option you could have. It does all different kinds of things. Uh, you can turn it into some light show, and they also have an option to where, these things are pretty popular for being stolen nowadays. They have an option to where you can do a sequence on your steering wheel that um, unless you do the sequence, you can't start the vehicle. So with as popular as these Mopars are becoming and the steering wheel controls on all of them, um, Jeeps, Mount Mopars, you know, the Dodge Challengers, Chargers, and stuff like that, they actually take the security system a step further so you can prevent your vehicle from being stolen so long as you set up the, uh, the pattern on the steering wheel. So that's a pretty cool feature if you ask me, especially if you're in an area where they're known for being stolen, like here in the DFW area, Chargers and Challengers and uh, Jeep Grand Cherokees, especially the Trackhawks and stuff, uh, and these Gladiators, stolen like crazy. So. It could prevent that. So the next thing you have is J-Scan. J-Scan is very similar to the Z Automotive Taser. Um, from what I understand, it's not quite as invasive. It's a little bit less, like 98% of the stuff that the Taser can do, the J-Scan can do. Um, but it's not as simple as just paying for one thing and it's done and over plug and play. There's a couple of things you have to do. You have to download an app, which the app is free. But you then also have to uh, do a, um, a license for each VIN that you want to use. So if you have just one, it's just one, one license you got to buy. And that's just under $20. Um, the other thing you're going to need before you can use it is a connector for the OBD connector underneath the dash, a Bluetooth model. Um, their page has a list of a bunch of connectors that they've tried and tested and that they will support with their app and stuff like that. So they're basically the approved ones. Uh, so check out their website, JScan, uh, jscan.net, I think it is. Again, all the links will be down below. So you can do your own research. But uh, um, the ones that they recommend, I looked up one real quick, and it was like 130 bucks or something like that. So they're, they're probably priced all over the place. Uh, it just so happened to be the one that I, I just did a quick look up on was $130. So there's that. And then the last thing you have to buy is, the, um, is a cable. Um, I wrote it down so I don't forget what it's called. It is called a Chrysler Security Gateway Bypass Cable. And you can find that on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Um, I'll throw a link down in the description as well for that and so it's easy to find. Um, and if you're interested in the J-Scan, you can just use those links to find it or just look them up on your own. It's pretty easy and simple to find. So again, that, that does the same thing. It allows you to go in and set the um, auto stop start feature to have a memory setting to where it'll just like with the Z automotive taser it will remember what the setting was that you had it on for the last drive cycle um, pull DTCs and stuff like that and do coding and stuff so it, it's very similar to the taser but that's another option that is out there 
And lastly, that brings me to something else that I stumbled upon. Um, the, the things that I previously spoke about, those are the things that I see a lot online, people talking about of what they're doing to uh, defeat the auto stop start. Those are the most popular things I saw. But this is something that I stumbled across on Amazon, and here it is. This is called, uh, what is it called? It is called a Maker Auto Start Stop Eliminator Delete Disable for 2018-2023 Jeep Wrangler JL, JLU, and Jeep Wrangler Gladiators. Whew, that's a mouthful. So, um, that's got to love Amazon listings. So, this is going to get plugged into a module up under the driver's side of the dash. You're going to disconnect one of the connectors, uh, and this is just going to go in, in line of the harness and the module. And this is going to supposedly do the same thing that everything else does, but it is designed specifically for the auto stop start. This was like $46, $49 on Amazon. The link will be down in the description for that as well. So I have not tried this out yet. So I bought it. I paid for it. It's not a plug for the company at all. And we're going to go ahead and install this. And then we're going to test it and see if it actually works or not. And then I'll give you my honest real-time review and opinion on this if it's worth buying. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Okay, so now let's get to this because while I was in there, I decided to take this out, which was a security tracking GPS thing that uh, was installed in the vehicle as soon as it was arrived to the dealership. Um, yeah, there's nothing I need. It's not even activated anymore. So, and it gave me a little extra access. So, what we're looking for is, if you can see it, let me grab something to point with. So what I'm looking for, I think you can get it. I don't know. This box right here, we're going to disconnect this connector right here. That's what we're looking for. Come on. Why aren't you coming out? Well, there's that one. That one came out easily. There we go. Plug that first one back in. All right, that first one's plugged in. That's the connector we're looking for, right there. What we're gonna do... And then we're gonna plug this end back up into that module. Okay, it's that simple. So, as you can see, the box is now plugged in, in line of the harness. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this panel back on, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm pulling up to a stop sign, and the vehicle should shut off. There it is, because it is not off there, so. All right, let's go to our next stop sign. And for this, let's turn that off. And let's go ahead and pull right in here. So this side all right let's just go ahead and stop and it stays on because the auto stop start is turned off so let's go ahead and see if it remembers the setting try for a second 
stop right here. All right. Boom. 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 Simulate like I'm getting in and out. Let's go ahead and start. And look at that. It went right back to being turned off. So it does work, supposedly. Let's do a quick drive. Now let's stop. Yeah. Well, I say it works. So if uh, this interests you, I'll put a link down for the product in the uh, description. Um, I got it off of Amazon. Like I said, it was like $46, $49, something like that. Uh, yeah, and um, if that's all you want to do, by all means, definitely get it because it's working perfectly fine. Now, the next thing will be how long does it hold up? Is it going to go bad in a week, two weeks, a month, two months? A year and you know that's that's still remains to be seen but we'll find out and with that I'd like to bid you adieu and farewell uh, thanks for watching I uh, hope you found it enjoyable and informative and whatnot and don't forget to hit that like comment share subscribe all that good stuff and stick around and I'll catch you guys in the next video